Hey guys, I wanted to share with you what we're doing for history. We follow Story of the World, and well, that's new. The past couple weeks we've doing, been doing Story of the World, and we did Story of the World last year. So I wanted to share what we're doing, what we're following for Story of the World, in case you were wondering. Like I showed in my haul, I got the Story of the World Volume 2 book, so it has all the stories and the read alouds. So I read aloud from this almost every day during the week. We are really um, focusing on science and history at this time in our schooling. Um, I don't worry too much about reading and math. We are just really immersing ourselves in the science and history and geography, and which is a lot of fun. I love it. So I read this about five times a week. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. The activity book I do use. I like the maps in the back. So we follow the maps. We haven't done any activities yet. We're only on Chapter 3 now. So I haven't done the activities, but we do the maps and the coloring page. And we add them to our book, which I will show you in a little bit. But... First, I wanted to show what we what I follow. I follow this um, story of the world for volume two from Paige Hudson from uh, she does elemental science. So on her blog, she has this. This is from a while ago. I mean, this is not like super recent, but I love this plan. So what she has on here is what she's using for history, which is story of the world two, Middle Ages. Heroes of the Heroes of the Middle Ages, which you can get free. This Country of Ours, which you can get free. Our Little Celtic Cousins. I don't know how to say that. Dakota Tales. Rise of the Samurai and Petra's Journal. Then she has her read aloud list. So that she read, reads aloud along with this. So Little Princess, 21 Balloons, Tales from Arabian Nights, The Little Duke, Viking Tales, Castle Diary. And on and on. And then she has possible coordinated readers, which this really sold me on downloading this and following this because I wanted something for me to read on her own that kind of kind of corresponds with what we're reading so this really helped so right now um, she's reading a sword in the tree and it's just it's small it's a small chapter book I've showed I showed it in my haul and it's something that she can handle and then she has it laid out week one week two history is chapter one chapter one full of Rome the map work and timeline figure, which I don't do because I, I don't quite, I felt I do the story of the world to map. Um, chapter 2, and she has it like that with the read aloud. Little Princess Chapter 1, Little Princess Chapter 2. And over here, I don't know if you'll ever see this, I don't know if my camera will, is the Chapter 1 timeline sentence that we write in our timeline journal. Chapter 1 copy work, Chapter 2 copy work, and she has the readers, the sword and the tree, and the notebook pages that she has used for this. And then same thing with chapter two, you know, and after chapter two and story of the world, she starts reading um, our little Celtic cousins and does that for about a week and a half before she jumps back over to story of the world, which I like. I like going back and forth. And she also has some activities. So this week we'll make marbled paper and that seems really easy and we can do that week four. And I like that she has the timeline sentence that they can add to their journal without me having to fumble and trying to figure out what they're going to write. So it's already laid out for me. So that is that. And it just keeps going. She has a whole... Let me see how long this is. 35 weeks. 36 weeks. Sorry. 36 weeks. So I have this a hole punched in my binder my homeschool binder and I put any of the uh, printables that we're going to color or the map work in this area and so I have it situated to where I'm going to have a history, my science, my art. But anyway, that's what we do for our history and I wanted to show you their uh, their journal. I'll show you Kinsey's. Sorry, I'm not super organized. Here we go. So here's Kinsey, my five-year-old. So we did, this was China. We finished China. And so now they started a new page for the Middle Ages. 
and she had the map from chapter one that she and then she traced I traced it with highlighter and she traced it with pencil and then she has our chapter two and the map work for that and we're going to color Beowulf and add that to the back and then we'll have chapter three so that's what we do for history and it's really fun we try to watch some videos that are on the time we read books that are on the time that I get from the library Nat still has to cut out her map so it doesn't have to be super complicated and that's what we use and I'll link that down below I'll link um, Paige Hudson's uh, plan down below hopefully I can remember to link it so anyway that's what we're using for history